What's going on guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Ra. And in today's video, I have I want to say a little bit of a story time, you know. It's just some sneakers that one some of my personal favorite sneakers I've picked up. Not my favorite sneakers I have, but the ones that like just personal favorites that I always remember buying from back in the day. Um I have a few pairs of sneakers here today. Just different situations that always just stuck out to me for the sneakers that why I always remember picking them up. Um, so, all right, guys. So the first pair of sneakers we have today will be the Thunder Fours. Let me get them for you. Show them. These were from 2012. I remember buying them before they came out, and I really wasn't like a huge fan. So I was like a close friend, and they got pushed back to December. So. It was supposed to come out in November, it got pushed back to December. Didn't really think too much about it, but the Bread 11s was coming out that same December. And one of the few times I've ever stood online for a pair of sneakers. Um, I remember standing online, it ended up raining out of nowhere for hours. I got caught in the rain, no umbrella. Got to the front of the line. Probably six people ahead of me. No more Bread 11s. I was already standing for hours. So I'm like, I'm not leaving without something. They said they had tickets for the Thunder 4s. I was like, you know what? Let me get another pair. They grew on me over time. Still not the hugest fan, but I've it lasted through the thicker time. It lasted through time. Um, not going to lie. I like these. For work, they're actually really good. It... I could wear them for the whole day and I feel a little bit better. I don't when I first got them I just couldn't go a whole day with wearing them. But yeah, that's all the Thunder Force. Okay guys, sorry about that, my camera died. Um the next sneakers we have are actually a pair of sneakers I got in high school. Um 2011. Air Jordan Black Cement Threes. I brought these from Flight Club. The honestly, I didn't. I paid like two hundred for them, which at that time I think was good. Honest from what other sneakers was going at Flight Club, I think that's like a good price. These, I remember everybody was talking about the Concord Elevens around that time. That was coming out around Christmas, but I really wanted these. So when I got up Black Friday to go out there and get them, I don't know why I just didn't go online. But I went to like so many stores from all over the city. I ended up just going to Flight Club and just say I'll pay the 200 because I could not find them in no stores. They were sold out everywhere. Um, I still actually like wearing it. It's still one of my favorite sneakers in my collection. I've worn it up to date. I probably wore it earlier this week. It's definitely still a nice classic. Might buy the 2018 pair that came out with the Nike on it. Because these are just, these are really a great pair of sneakers. Next sneaker we have are from 2017. Hold on. One of the few sneakers I've won using those apps. Um, Easy 750s. Chocolate brown, whatever you want to call them. Definitely was excited to get these for retail. I remember the what was it, the Belugas, the 350s that came out, the V2s that came out right before these. These came out October of 2017. Those came out September. I missed out on those. It was a big story behind like those was like just a horrible pair of sneakers of worth trying to get. Like it was just so much going on for those. And I thought to myself, like, this time I'm not missing no more pairs of Yeezys. Next pair I want is definitely, I got to get. Especially because I found out they were coming out right before my birthday. Um, had two phones using the app. Had one of my friends use one phone. He didn't really understand the whole concept of it. He was just, like, just all he got to do is tap. I used the other phone. And the phone that he used actually won. So when I went to get these, I have Wells Fargo. There's no Wells. Basically, when I went to get these, there's no Wells Fargo app. Um, bank in Brooklyn, 
and that's the card that I have. So when I got to Will, um, Adidas to pick them up, the card declined. And when the card declined, I was just so upset. Like, because I was like, I have to go take the money out or call as well as Fargo. And I tried calling them. They were just not letting me get through. So when I finally got through, I was already at another bank. I took the money out. I paid the fee, which is a good thing. Wells Fargo refunds you the money, but for any fee money. So that was a good thing. I was able to get them. I took an Uber home thinking I was going to have a promo code. The promo code expired. I paid like $40 for Uber. I was so upset after I found out. Um, but definitely one of my favorite pairs of sneakers when I first purchased it. I wear it from time to time. I haven't really worn it in about a year, but who knows? I'll probably break them out after this whole quarantine is done. Definitely. Just a good sneak I did get for my birthday. I do have great memories in these. I actually wore them to get the next pair of sneakers we're actually going to talk about in a few. So I made a mistake. The... 750s were actually from 2016 not 2017 um the next pair of sneakers we have are from 2017 actually late 2016 early 2017 i should say stan smith's raf simmons um all white i actually brought these so i wanted these for my graduation in college um i brought them in London because they were 400 they were going for 400 put it over here a little bit they were going for 400 everywhere I checked in the US and I was in London I went to London for spring break in 2017 and I was in London I didn't expect to even pick them up I didn't expect to buy anything really in London I just wanted to go see the city and stuff and I went to Selfridges never forget I seen them I seen the price plus I got money you get money back from like the tax ex the tax I can't really I don't know what it's called but you get some type of you get a little bit of money back basically because you're not from the city and you have to pay the taxes so I remember seeing these for 220 pounds I did the conversion it was like a no brainer from there like definitely still I wore these out completely and I would probably buy another pair like these are just great. It looks good dirty too. Like it just looks like a wearable sneaker, like durable, wearable. Definitely. I don't even think I wore these for the graduation, which is the funny thing. I wore them before the graduation. I was just so excited to wear them. So excited to have them in my possession. It was a great first time to London. Um second time I don't think I brought anything, but this was definitely a great first time to London. Um Stan Smith's. Let me put these right here. So the last pair of sneakers we have today are a pair of sneakers I spent months looking for. Um, 2012 LeBron 9 Big Bangs All Stars, whatever you want to call them. I remember when these came out. The these were my second favorite from the actual pack my favorites were the kd4s because i still until this day those like one of my favorites from the pack like but i actually wanted these i wanted these the kd4s and the flight ones i have the flight ones in the house i can actually look for that a little bit later um these came out in february i didn't have the money for them at the time i was doing like a little part-time seasonal job but I didn't have the money by the time the seasonal drop was finished to get them. And then I spent, when I finally did get like a regular job after I graduated, I spent hours online looking for them, like for a good price. I went through different stores to get them. And it was October, it was around early October. I'll never forget, I went to get the Kobe. They had a restock of the Kobe 7 cloaks, invisible cloaks. I went to Nike to get them, sold out. I was on Instagram and the sneaker store in Soho, Kick Exclusive. I think that's the name of the time, Kick Exclusive, had them, had them for a good price, about 275. And every other place I seen was 450. This is before like StockX and Goat was like the places to go, even Grail wasn't like as popular. 
So I went from I went from upper was that upper east side all the way down to Soho. I was able to get them because they weren't even open at the time. So I was able to K exclusive wasn't even open yet. So by the time I got there, they were open. They were open and they were about to open. And I was ended up getting them for my birthday. Definitely to this day my favorite sneaker worth getting. It took me months to get them. They were not regretting it at all. Definitely my favorite. One of my favorite LeBrons. My probably my favorite has to be the Cannons. But this is definitely top three LeBron nines for me. There we go. Let me put them back. actually very underrated shoe one of the most comfortable sneakers in terms of basketball sneakers that I've ever tried on could work in these all day I could spend a whole day in them and I feel thanks for watching the video guys um look out for more content like comment subscribe anything you guys want to see on the channel don't be afraid to comment down below. Um, thanks for watching. Hope we, you guys made it through the whole video. Any just suggestions, any questions, any your yeah, personal favorite sneakers, your yeah, top pickups that you've ever picked up, just don't be afraid to comment.